there are businesses there are individuals there are families there are ministries that have been kept at a level he said moses tell the people that they go forward therefore i declare by the power of the spirit as instructed by god may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now bring them out i decree and declare speed every delay i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and i decree and declare now you will run like elijah and overtake the chariots of ahab even down to Israel, you will run like elijah financially spiritually i declare by the voice of prophecy in the name of jesus everything holding you down that will not allow you move forward i speak to you tonight go forward 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 and every power sitting on your destiny that would not let you move forward hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus the christ of god the one who is exalted as lord and christ i command those spirits to give way now give way now give way now over financial destinies give way now every ministry here represented that will not move forward in their prophetic assignment whether you are a man of god or you are an ordained worker i decree and declare that grace for speed lands upon your destiny now hear me there are businesses here that have been grounded i take five years and put it in one month for you by prophecy the achievement of five years may it manifest in one month please believe it don't sit here wondering what is happening now the lord is that spirit now the lord is that spirit everything that should have entered your hand but it's been hijacked by powers in the second heavens i stand by prophecy this week between today and next week sunday i prophesy may it enter your hand i may it enter your hand every helper of your destiny who has refused to cooperate with the holy spirit to birth prophecy over your life i'm speaking over a family and in the pakatos kata brain take it together i've been instructed to do this i decree and declare every helper of your destiny hear the word of the lord from the north the east the south the west i command them to appear over your destiny For some of you, while you are in this service seated, the spirit of the living God is going to the helpers of your destiny and compelling men to speak at the gates for you. In the name of Jesus, before you get there, a good report would have gone ahead of you. Hear me? Shame and reproach that has refused to live your life by the god of heaven let it end here tonight let it end let it end here tonight let it end here tonight one last prayer and you'll be seated this grace for visibility that can expose a man to his world can i tell you being gifted is powerful but if that engracing is not upon you you will remain there with your gift there is a grace it's called a hear ye him anointing 
the grace that compels your territory not only to know you are there but to come and place a demand on your grace i speak to someone here you have done your due diligence to build now is the time to be seen i stand by the voice of prophecy may that grace for visibility let it come on you now visibility in business visibility in ministry in the name of jesus christ the bible says and it was noised abroad that jesus was in town who noised it is not our business it was noised and any man in fraternity with dark powers who says over his dead body for you to rise may his prayer be answered in this service see you see let me tell you this please look up prophecy is not an announcement prophecy is creation you are not just announcing what should happen you are making it happen consistent with the will of god there are many dimensions to the prophetic there is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic that supplies you spiritual information to the end that your faith be built right and then you have hope and the bible says hope does not make ashamed but there is the creative dimension of prophecy it does not just reveal what will happen it makes it happen when the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not announcing what would have happened anyway there was no way that would have happened oh like the prophet let me speak over someone's life by this time tomorrow i don't mean prophetic tomorrow literal chronological tomorrow may a testimony that will surprise you come to you Thank you, Jesus, the mighty God. Wave your hands and just give him thanks. Lord, we bless you. When you come, you come like a mighty God that you are. You come to us because you love us. What is man that thou art mindful of, nor the son of man that thou visitest him? You do this because you have loved us with an everlasting love and even drawn us with your loving kindness thank you 